Today I'm going to demonstrate how to turn a look very complicated paintings into a fun, relaxing, simple process. In joining us as a global artist community, we focus on how to make painting and drawing with fun and relaxation. We want to welcome you to join us today. Let's start this painting. The first step is to see how we're going to plan the painting. Start from a drawing. Let's take a look. I'm going to make the main objects right over here. I'm going to have uh, the petal from here all the way coming to this side. I'm going to leave a little bit more room on the right side. So I'm going to end this, the right side over here, the pad. And this side, right here, like that. So now in between this, I'm going to see that it looks like a triangle. And take a look at the top of her head. And coming down like this. Is that simple enough? Right? It's very simple to look at, very simple to analyze. You don't need to complicate things. Just look at what the simple shape that we can relate to. Okay, now it looks like a triangle, and then there is a back, the green back, and a back over here, like that. All right, it's very good. And one step at a time, and there's a little shape. There is the boat right over here. First, I'm going to get some masking fluid. If you want to see all the material that I'm using, and please take a look at my video descriptions to see all the material links. Okay, that should be good enough. Now I'm going to prepare my calligraphy brush. I'm going to have a, a dedicated water for this task. So first, I'm going to make the order here to get enough soap. Okay. I'm going to start from the main object. Start from the head. Let's take a look. Here we go. Make sure it's thick enough or it's not going to cover completely. Okay. Coming down here. Take a look at the arm. Making sure you get the shape correctly accurate as much as possible. Very good. Be patient. Uh, we're going to wait. I first going to use this one inch flat brush. It's going to work into the entire background area. So I'm going to start from mixing a little uh, dark gray color. So here you go. Now I'm going to have the red color first. Get the uh, winter blue green shade. There's two color together, mixing a very, very dark color. And if you want to have a little bit more yellow, it will make it feel a little bit more great. Okay, I'm going to take a little yellow color from the edge over here. Okay, that's good. Okay, now I'm going to start from the top over here. Let's see. Okay, a little bit faster. Makes a little bit more color continue. With the red, there's three colors together. Here you go. I'm going to get all the way coming to the right side over here, coming down. Okay, the color needs to be darker. 
and squint your eye it's just looking at looking for the color looking for the big areas see how it look curve it over here like this okay that's the shadow there you go from this side right over here all the way coming over this type okay that's good now i'm going to continue add a little bit darker let's get the red and the blue color there's two color together okay okay have a little red okay that's good i'm going to put this color in this area here we go i'm going to come in from here and like that going through like this direction okay now i want to get a little bit here in the middle over here i'm going to get the reflection color of the person that is a little bit warm color a little bit brown and i'm going to take that color use the color a little bit red here you go make a little red color here you go like that a little bit too uh, red i'm gonna have a little bit blue color here you go i'm gonna make a little bit more brownish color here you go like that okay here you go and i'm gonna have some a little bit more green color here we go a little bit darker color Is to color together that is go that's good okay, just use the corner of the brush All right that's good over here also I have a little bit of this dark color over there but maybe not really that much okay that's good now I'm gonna gradually they have some light color over here too so let's take a look how can i make that a little bit darker but a little bit red not too bright like that here you go now i'm gonna have a little corner like that coming over here here you go some water texture that that's good now quickly I'm going to have this light it up a little bit, have a little orange color, and then connect to the light. A little yellow color. Okay, right here. Here you go, a little bit orange color. Like that. A little red over here. That's good. Okay, now have some light color. I'm gonna just lift it up to feel a little bit glowing kind of look. Okay, that's good. Now on the other side, I'm gonna come to a little bit darker color, a lot darker. And I have the blue color. Here you go have a little red so you can make the dark color before we modify the dark color okay yes oh this is really dark that's good i'm gonna add that color in here then okay have some dark color over here okay like this let's see the bottom over here now get a little bit drier. That's good. Okay, a little darker color over here. Here you go. Now I like that. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to come in over here. I'm going to have some dark color. I'm going to get the red color. Make it less blue. Make it a little bit. I'm going to from here, I'm going to gradually moving it in. But it's going to get a little bit more and more yellow color. Okay, here we go. Get this. That's good. And move the color from dark to light. Like that. That's here you go. Okay. Now the color looks very good. Now when you get a little bit closer, get a little bit more neutral. So I'm gonna get a little red color. Too much red. Get a little bit more yellow. Okay. A little blue. On this side, a little bit more blue color, a little bit more yellow color. Here you go. Now, I'm going to come in closer over here. Okay, that's good. There's the edge of the boat. Very nice. That's coming in a little, little bit closer in over here. Like that. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna to switch to the click of your brush. Now I'll take a look. I'm gonna get the little orange color. Here you go, a little orange color over here. Now, still can add the, still a little wet, add the little ye yellow orange color, like that. Here you go, a little bit yellow color over here, orange, like that, here you go. Okay, now I'm going to have the this color, that's good, this color, mix a little red right into it. Screen your eyes, you can see the color connection a little bit better. The most of the painting already dried. This area already dried. It's very important. Now I'm gonna screen my eye, take a look at that. It looks like almost like this color. I'm gonna take this color first. I'm gonna put it right over here and take a look. And over here, it's a little bit darker than the green color underneath. Okay, I'm gonna mix a little bit more color and take a little yellow. And need to have a little bit more green and take this green color. Okay, yeah, a little bit better. Now here you go. Screen the eye and take a look at, I'm gonna start over here. Here we go. Take a look at the shape. Coming all the way on this side. Here you go. Now the edge over here. It connect into this color. So I'm gonna make it a little bit softer by lifting the color and make it a little bit softer edge. That's good. And over here, connect to that. So I'm gonna have a little bit green color. Start over here, here you go. Over here, connect into that. That's good. The painting's already dry. Now I'm gonna start removing the masking fluid. Okay.
Now that's good. And next, we're gonna start painting, doing the last part of this painting process. Okay, now I want to start painting from the head. First, I'm going to give a, a little light brown color, a little, almost like an orange color. I'm gonna take the yellow mixed with the red. Some bright red color from here. Okay, I'm gonna have very little thin color. Take a look at an edge here. There you go, a little bit edge over here. I'm gonna make a little bit softer color a little bit later. Okay, like this. Okay, that's good. On the edge over here. Also have a little bit wrong color. Okay, that's good. And also have a little bit on the edge over here too. That's good. On the shoulder. Alright, I'm going to have a little bit softer. But I don't want to leave the colors too much in the the white shape. Um, instead, I blend it into the darker area. Okay, I will come back a little bit later. I have to settle a little bit more. Okay, a little bit soft. All right, now I'm gonna add the color for the uh, arm. Uh, first, I'm gonna mix a little brown color, so a little blue, and get some yellow color. And that's good. This, this is very much the color we need. Take a look over here. I'm gonna make sure I leave a little gap and have the feeling of the backlight. Okay, keep coming down over here. That's good. I'm gonna over here and coming in over here. That's good. That's very good shape. I'm gonna start having a little bit lighter. So just come in here. Have a little bit more orange, like that. Here we go. I'm gonna have the color in the middle over here get a little bit lighter. That's good. And now connect to it. That will be very, very bright uh, orange red color. I don't really need that much color, so. Just a little bit and start a little yellow. Okay, a little bit red. That's good. Just a little color. That's here we go. I'm gonna connect that. It's very light color, so don't make it too dark. Okay, like that. Here we go. I'm gonna use just the water. Softly connect it. There you go. Like that. That's good. There has some glowing effect. That's beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter. Not just the color, the value actually playing a bigger role in the look and the feeling. Now also going to remove a little color in here. Make it a little bit softer. That's good. Okay. 
Yes, very good. I'll come back to fix that a little bit later. Okay, now I'm going to come back to the head. Now take a look at, have a little blue color in here. Now take a look. Yes, inside over here. And then coming in over here. Here we go. A little big. That's the big shape. And also at the top over here has a little light shape. So I want to make sure I keep that little light shape over there. And I'm going to have a little bit gray color over here. So make sure that I remember that's the light shape. I'm going to have a little bit darker. I'm going to get a little bit red. A little blue color. A little bit more color. That's good. I'm going to put that. Right over here. Yes, see. Have that. Little bit gap. Here you go. Now that's good. Now the edge, I'm going to add a little bit orange color. A little bit later. Like that. That's good. I might give a little bit more details into the hair. A little bit later. Okay. Now I'm going to just use very little colors, not a lot, at the top over here. I'm going to have a little bit detail over here. That's good. A little detail over here. You see how little bit shape this brush can do. That's good. Now I'm going to add the very um, brighter orange color. I'm going to get the yellow color mixed in the red over here. Okay. So it's a little color and edge over here. See, you go. Ooh. Don't make the color terminated. Okay, like that. That's good. On this side, have some yellow color over here too. That's good. All right, now I'm gonna paint it the this arm. I'm gonna take a look and get a little red color into here, and get some yellow color. So this will be the color for the arm. Here we go. Now hold. Focus, focus on the shape. Take a look at the shape inside. Here we go. Here we go. Now take a look. Leave a little gap for the backlight. There's a straight line like that. And coming down over here. Here we go. And I'm gonna get this shape, a little triangle, like that. Okay, have a little bit reflection from the water. Like that, that's good. Okay, now take a look at the side and have a little bit reflected. Yeah, now later I'm gonna add a little red color to it. I'm gonna let it dry first. So that looks good. Now I'm gonna just lift up a little color in the middle. Just leave up a little color. That's good. Make it look a little bit more rounded. That's very nice. 
Okay. I'm going to add a little red orange color on the inside over here. A little bit more red. Like that. That's good. That's good. Now I'm going to add a little darker color. And have a little bit darker. Get a little bit blue. A little bit red. Make the color a little bit darker. Now, that's good. Now I'm going to have the outside over here. This is a little bit darker. Very good. Now I'm going to add it over here. This color also is straight. Coming down like this. And the bottom over here, a little bit darker. Now we're looking into smaller and smaller sheep. That's good. And take a look at that. Under the arm over here, also a little bit darker. Okay, I can see a little here, moving down like this. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna come back to the here and I'm gonna add a little bit yellow orange color on the edge. Okay, a little bit like that. That's good. A little bit over here. And the edge over here, like that. All right, and the outside over here also have to little yellow color that's good now I'm gonna come back to the inside and uh, now I can see uh, the hair can be even darker just these two color can make a very very dark color okay now I'm gonna come in over here now here you go add a little shape and have some suggestions for the hair that's good. That give it very good indication and very believable. Okay, that's good. Don't make it all solid. Just a few lines like this. Oh, that's good. Uh, it looks just like I want. Okay. All right. That's very well. I'm going to Make the arm over here, shrink it a little bit, and just use the water. Shrink that a little bit in here. Remove the color. So make it suggesting that the arm a little bit thinner. For the uh, both end of the petal, now I'm gonna take a look at uh, this color. Should be like this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's a little bit more blue. All right. Just get this blue color for now. I can paint, leave a little gap at the edge and make it look like a stronger feeling of the background. I'm also going to have a little color over here too. Leave a little gap. That's good. Gonna have darker color a little bit later. Okay. Come back here. Here we go. I'm gonna have this in the bottom over here. Have a little bit gap. At the bottom, seeing the water dripping down. There we go. And the top also leave a little gap. Okay, that's very good. I'm gonna add a little bit darker color on the top over here, just for now. 
come back to fix uh, the rest of the pedal a little bit later. Okay, that's very good. Now I'm going to come back on this side. That is show uh, the big dark color and handle over here. Okay, the bottom also can leave a little gap. Okay, that's good. And the edge over here also leave a little white gap. Okay, and the bottom over here also leave a little white gap as the water dripping down. That's very good. Now I'm going to come in here to finish this pedal. Very good. The top over here. Give a little bit sharper. There we go. This way well. Okay, like that. Very nice. Okay, now I'm gonna give a little gap in the middle. Over here, a little gap over here, and you can make some changes. Don't have to make it look like um, the reference. I come back a little bit later. Now, take a look on this side. I come back after this drive a little bit more. All right, this is good. Now I'm gonna come back to um, paint the back. I have a little bit green color. And they take the yellow color with the blue. That's for the top. Here we go. Okay, I leave a little gap over here, a little bit light. Okay, that is a little bit too dark, so I'm gonna use a little water. And you go get a little yellow. That's good. Keep this color a little bit lighter. Here you go, like that. Here we go. Now, give that a little bit light shape. Here we go. Now I'm gonna come in down over here. Now this side come become a little bit darker. Now here we go. Now coming down like this. Pay attention, analyze it. Okay. All right, now paint the overall color before we come back to do the specific colors. Okay. Get a little yellow color with the blue, that's fine. Like that, here you go. I'm gonna paint this color and I'll also connect to the dark color up over here. I'm going to actually subtly connect that to make it feel like it's the shadow area. Okay, now I have a little bit also light shape coming through over here like that. Okay, that's good. Okay, now I'm going to have um, a little bit brighter. I'm gonna just use this little lighter orange color. And also on this, I have a little bit red. Here you go, a little bit more red over here. Here you go, that's beautiful. Like that. Here you go. Now a little big shape, a little shape like that. Here we go. Here we go. Have a little gap over here. That's good. I like this color. Very, very dramatic. Okay. Now get a little bit outside over here. I'm going to leave a little gap. And I'm going to fill in the color a little bit later for the gap. Now I'm going to use a little bit more yellow. 
not lots of water, just a little bit yellow. So you got over here on the edge. All right, a little edge over here. Okay, now take a look at the edge over here. That's good. Have a little bit red and brown color on the side over here. I'm gonna also leave a little bit light and next to it. All right, in the middle over here, I'm gonna have a little line coming down, so we're gonna leave the shape of the line. Okay, like that. Here we go. That's good. Okay, coming up a little bit over here. All right. And there is something at the bottom some a little bit darker color okay like that all right now on this side there's a little bit more red you see patience is required okay and also over here I have very red that's good and the gap over here there's a little light shape Okay, and there's a little red over here too. And there's a lot more red over here. That's good. Okay. And I'm gonna have a little light, uh, maybe a little light uh, orange color. It should not be just white. Okay, like that, I'm gonna have little bit brown color over here softly okay like that okay that's good now I'm gonna have much darker brown color here you go start over here connect it all the way coming over here connect it all the way here that's good. I'm gonna have I'll leave a little gap over here, all the way to the water. Like that. Okay, now I'm gonna have the top over here a little bit brown and also the bottom have a little bit more yellow and green color. So I'm gonna paint the bottom over here too before I uh, separate it. Okay, now over here. I see a little bit light shape over here. I see a little light shape at the bottom over here. I leave a little bit light, a uh, little white shape. Okay, here you go, like that. All right, now I'm gonna come back to finish the uh, pet over here. I'm gonna have some dark color. Here we go, a little bit dark over here. Now, coming in over here, see a little shape, the dark shape over here, and then here we go. And I'm gonna walking into the edge. Here we go, now like that. A little bit darker in the middle over here I have a couple line and then a line over here too and then here you go and I'm gonna have a little bit dark color shading in now here we go now I'm gonna have this color all the way up around here you go now that's good and that's one finish it's mostly yellow a very yellow green color just use the Windsor Blue uh, green shade. Now it makes a very nice color. Now here we go. I'm gonna paint here on the leaf, but leave some shape 
white. Okay, like that. Here we go. Now, like this. Here we go. Now, like that. Here we go. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of light shape over here. From places, there is some light shape. Like that. I think it's just too much water. I don't need that much water. Like that. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Here you go. Let's take a look. There's a little light shape over here. I'm going to paint around the light shape. That's simple. Do a little final scratching. Okay, it doesn't have to be a lot. It's just a few suggestions for the hair. Exacto knife. That's very good.